where we wanted to go next is similar to some of the conversation that we had just now of making an environment that, um, this doesn't mean anything, I should, probably shouldn't even show you all that, um, making an environment that creates um, critical thinking. Um, and so again, you know, instead of telling them how they got something wrong, um, <laughs> you allow them to trace their steps. Um, so there's a piece of it, where's my notes? There's, yes, thank you. <laughs> so a part of that is getting students away from the yes and no, right or wrong. So I wanna give two um, ways that you, you do that. Um, one way um, is something I actually learned from Jamie a bit is, I know that our students, I don't know about you all, but our students all just wanna know if they have the right or wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Please just tell me, I don't care what my answer was, I just need to know what the right answer is. So one way to alleviate that is to give them the right answer. Just give it to them, right? Okay. One through five, here we go, A, B, B, A, C. Give it to them. They've learned nothing at this point. But, <laughs> but you have eased their attention. They now know if they're right or wrong, but hopefully in your class, you have prom promoted a community of understanding, not a community of right or wrong. Okay, so if you're promoting a community of understanding, they are not so focused on, I got it wrong, it was supposed to be A. They're focused on, why did I get this wrong, it was supposed to be A. And that's where we want to do that change. And so giving them the answer first, what that does is it takes away that tension. But your next step is what's important. Your next step is now, if number one is A, you have to tell me why it is not B. You have to tell me why it is not C, and you have to tell me why it is not D. Okay, and again, this goes back to math, right? And so ultimately, they do have to know exactly prescriptively adding, subtracting, multiplying, or whatever, but getting them to backtrack and understand why a test um, maker put that answer on there to know that they meant to move that decimal because you, they know that everybody will forget to move that decimal. How um, invigorating is that for a student to realize, oh, I can think like a test maker does. I know their secrets now, right? And so that totally flips the class as people want to start talking about, but it flips it in a, multi, in a different way of saying, I'm going to give you the answer. We're working through why they have these other answers here which also in social studies and things like that gets you to the point of, oh, that argument isn't right. It also is a test taking skill because a lot of the reasons that the answer isn't right is it doesn't answer the question, right? Very simple to us, but how many times have you seen students you know, who says, but it's in the reading. That's the, I chose C because I saw it right there in the reading. That has nothing to do with the question though. So creating an environment of understanding, not an environment of right or wrong.